Hi. OK, so we're going to do a very short smartphone massage, not orchestra. So I want you all to grab your phones. Go ahead and touch it. It's plastic. It's glass. It's probably a very flat texture. OK, now we're going to take a trip inside your phone. So close your eyes and navigate through the labyrinth of zinc, cobalt, lithium that's animating it. Now open your eyes and see where it all comes from. It's straight from the Earth's crust. To mine the metals that power your phones were devastating landscapes for generations. And that's saying nothing of e-waste. And as we move away from fossil fuels to electrify everything, we're causing even more extraction and waste. OK, but now touch your face. It's much more alive, right? You can feel your pulse. Well, you and your phone have something in common. You're both electric. Your body is animated by thousands of tiny electrical impulses firing every second. I'm Paige, and at Electric Skin, we think our future is grown, not extracted. My team is made of four women across four continents, Catherine, Sequoia, Nada, and me, and we believe in the ingenuity of nature. And we're not the only ones. You see, this scientist discovered that this bacteria creates tiny little prote proteins that make electricity. And he used those to power a tiny little light. Well, we thought that was incredible. But academics are funny. They discover the most amazing things and then just move on to the next. So it's our role as designers to find those nuggets, to take them out of the lab and into the world in a way that aligns with planetary boundaries. So we're doing just that. Um, I'll skip the details, but we're growing the bacteria in a lab and extracting protein, and we're dropping this protein onto our algae-based material between two electrodes, and zap, electricity. If we zoomed in, what we would see would be akin to micro-lightning, because that's what that protein is doing. It's harnessing water from the humidity in the air to generate electricity. And so that's what we need to do, this team, is understand this protein perfectly and create the most perfect material scaffold for it to generate the most amount of electricity and ultimately power devices. But what's the potential here? Well, a new form of power. You see, even in the driest of places, when the sun sets, when the wind stops, there's water in the air. There's electrical potential. And proteins can be grown in labs in the craziest of places, everywhere in the world. We're starting very small, of course, making tiny batteries like those that could power your watch or this clicker, because that's what's realistic right now. But in the future, we hope to move more towards technologies like our bodies. Could we create phones that breathe the humidity in the air? Can we stop mining and plundering the earth? Can we craft devices that degrade back into the soil at the end of use? At Electric Skin, we know it's possible. Thank you.